There are two ways to preview the contents of a data frame in Databricks, and that is show and display. Let me provide some examples. So in this cell, I've created a data frame based on some country data. So I've defined the schema here, where it consists of the column's country name, continent, population, and area in kilometers squared. And this is the actual data. I've created it using a list of tuples. So there should be 195 data points. So let me collapse this. And then I have created the data frame using this data variable, which stores the data, and then the schema I've defined. So let me run this cell. So I can view this data frame using the show method. So let me create a new cell and do df.show and then run that. So here are the results. So by default, you can see only the top 20 rows. You can also specify optional arguments, one being an integer. So by default, the top 20 rows are displayed. So if I specify n equals to 200, then it will display 200 rows as you can see. So now all of the data points are here. So there's 195 records, therefore all of the data points are displayed. You can also truncate the data values that are displayed. So you can specify truncate as either a Boolean. So if you specify false, then no truncation occurs. So if I run this, the results should be the same, as you can see. But then you can also specify an integer. So if you specify two, for example, then it will truncate all of the values that have a character length of greater than two. So let me run this. So now, as you can see, the results have been truncated. Another option called vertical relates to how you display the rows. So if you specify vertical as true, and by default it's false, then the rows will be displayed in a vertical fashion. So let me get rid of truncate and I will do, and I will get rid of the other arguments as well. And I'll just specify vertical as true and run this. So now the rows are displayed vertically. So if you just do df.show, it will return the top 20 records. And then you have optional parameters for the number of records displayed, whether you want to truncate the values, and if you want to display the records vertically, like so. So now let's look at the display function. To view the data frame using the display function, you just do display and then pass in the data frame, like so. And then let's run this cell. So display is a Databricks specific function. It offers a much richer and interactive view of your data frame. The function provides a dynamic web-based table where you can sort the results, as you can see. You can filter the results. So I'll add a filter and I only want the country, the continent, for example, to be Asia. And then it applies that filtering and then you can remove the filter as well. You can also search your data. So let me search for England or United Kingdom. And here it is. You can also profile your data. So if I click on this plus icon and then data profile. So this will generate a profile of the data. So it will provide summary statistics along with metadata about the data set. So we have got numerical features, which are population and area, and then it's got some statistics here. And then for the categorical features, we've got the country name and the continent. And then here are some statistics about that as well. In addition to that, you can also visualize your data. So let me create a combo chart where I want the X column to be the continent. I then want to see the sum of the population and the area squared, or let's just do average of the area squared and the average of the population. And then I will choose this to be a combo chart. 
Then for the y-axis or for the series, I will put the area on the right and then save this. So we've just really quickly created a visualization. You can also use display as a method. So rather than doing display as a function, I could do df dot display, just like with the show method, and then run this. And that works just the same. Okay, so that was how to preview your data frames using show and display. Just be mindful that display is specific to Databricks.